morning everybody getting ready to go here got the truck already got me already time to go get some freight fill up this trailer I'm picking up some steel today gonna bring it up to Winnipeg Manitoba we're starting off here near Duluth Minnesota it's about an eight-hour drive once we're loaded so let's get started smell of bull snot in the morning <laughs> if you haven't heard of it before that's what I'm talking about this can is kind of old already but it's bull snot visible it cleans everything great stuff get every gauge you don't leave one out there's no man left behind no gauge left behind them all cleaned up even the big guys they all deserve a clean start to the day oh that's nice that is yeah okay steering column here Put that down as well Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> uh, we gotta go just around the corner pretty much. Well, it's a little further now, it's about 15 minutes down the road. Once again, like every morning, I'm just gonna make sure that my eyeballs are working correctly. I checked to make sure my trailer was still attached to the fifth wheel. But just to be double sure, we're gonna roll forward about 10 feet. And spike the trailer brakes. It didn't fall off and the brakes work and they release. Morning checklists are done. Let's get out of here. So we're near Duluth, Minnesota. At the quick trip. Oh, that's bright, that's bright. Good morning, sun. Yikes. Hope you guys all had a good day or are having a good day, whatever time you're watching this and wherever you are. Hope that the weather is treating you good. Hope that life in general is treating you good. As I drive towards the sun, I realize I need to clean the inside of my windshield. And as I drive this way, I also realize, can I get, can I turn left from here? Yes, I can, okay. <laughs> I want to turn left and for a minute there I thought that I went out the wrong driveway but no there's a thank you sign right there which means no you can go this way why would they say thank you if this was only an entrance thank you for entering oh man I can't see that sun yeah, okay there's nobody coming from that direction nobody at all that direction there is people coming from that direction sign is in my way I can't see okay two cars coming from that direction nobody coming at all from there good gonna wait for one more car come on now 
Come on, I could have cut in there. I could have. I'm too nice. Oh, here we go. weather's really supposed to be warming up this week until next weekend and then uh, I think we're pretty much on the downhill headed towards spring now we're over the mountain of winter daylight hours are getting longer the snow is gone here in Duluth it's not gone at home yet but soon right soon this will be our first summer in our new house. I'm excited to get that backyard. Or excited to work in that backyard, I should say. Get that lawn, get that lawn mowed. I'm excited to mow the lawn. It's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a good year. Directly into that sun. Yikes. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of relief. Hopefully there's not a long lineup, but if there is, well, then we'll wait. I'm gonna make a left turn here. Here's my turn, okay. Let's get out here. <sighs> so we got loaded over there. We pulled up over here to tie down. As per their request, I'll quickly throw these straps over and get out of here. I already got all my paperwork, sent it all in. So on these, I do one each direction. I do one strap this way, one strap this way. Wish I had a few shorter straps for this. I have shorter ones on that side. I'm gonna use them to throw this way so that they don't roll out into the road too far for the minute or two that it takes me to walk around and pull them back closer to the trailer, if that makes sense. Gotta make sure that we're uh, moving ratchets over here. Most trailers nowadays have these sliding ratchets to make it very nice. The old trailers and some of the new ones still have fixed, so have fixed, uh, like they're welded on. I don't like those. I like to be able to put these ratchets exactly where I need them, right? Yeah, two more here. So six on this side, then we got six on the other side yet. clever with how we do this because the tires are here right okay we're gonna go in here yep okay
Now we go to the side. You see how they roll out like this? Because the straps are pretty long. I just pull them all tight now. Gotta watch out here. There's a whole bunch of landmines around here. Our Canadian Air Force uh, like to leave their droppings here. By Canadian Air Force, I mean our Canadian geese. They have lots of them here. Uh, they'll be coming back soon with this weather. And they graze here, I guess. <laughs> Whew, these tires are good. A little bit of extra weight because the truck is leaning this way. It makes the tires look lower than they are. I checked the PSI. They're all at 105. No, 100. Yeah, they all, they're all at 100 PSI. That's what I have them at. So quickly throw this side over. I'm going to ratchet them up. And we're going to... Book it. Book it on out of here. We're loaded, we're tied down. Lights are on. Everything's ready. You know what I'm gonna say next. We're in a rush. So I've gotta bring this load to our yard near Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's about eight hours from here. Seven, eight hours. I drop this load in the yard, take my equipment off of it, and then grab another empty flatbed, head back to Kenora. Gotta be uh, there to load at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Or first thing in the morning, as early as we can, anyways. We're not even that heavy with this load. Usually this load would uh, bring me right up to max weights. I'm only at about 76,500 pounds. If you're not familiar with trucking, uh, I can have a maximum of 80,000 pounds in the US. Oh, there's my new load. We gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. We're not actually technically in a rush. I'm just saying we're in a rush because I'm always in a rush. I don't wanna drag my feet. I wanna get to Kenora tonight as early as possible. I want to be first at the gate tomorrow morning. It's hard to do. Guys there are on the ball. They don't want you there a minute before 7 a.m. I want you there at 7 a.m., but there's always a lineup, so. We'll see, as long as I'm among the first, I want to get loaded tomorrow, then unloaded tomorrow afternoon. And then I believe I'm coming right back here to Duluth for another one. So we're just doing a circle. We'll be right back here tomorrow night. Am I going too slow? No, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going speed limit. Why are people tailgating me? I'm turning here anyway. See, I'm not even that heavy. I was expecting to have a little bit more weight on me, but I'm not complaining. I'm actually quite happy with this. I'm not even close to being over. There's a little bit more on my trailer. I would like to have a little more weight up on my drives, on my truck, but uh, it'll do. For a quick eight hour drive, it'll do. We're legal. Dirty mirror. Oh, I can't wait to get to a truck wash. Oh, and there's my next load already. So yeah, my next two loads are sitting in my computer here waiting for me already. Good. We know what we're doing. So we got work today, we got work yesterday, we have work tomorrow, and we have work the next day. That's a good week. And maybe I'll go home and get my truck serviced on Friday then. I'll have to call in and see if that'll work with what they uh, need me to do. A little bit of change of plans. Actually, the plans didn't change. I just didn't understand the assignment. So we're not coming back here for steel here. We're picking up different steel in Wisconsin. 
it, they just said steel, and I thought, oh, I'm coming right back to Duluth. No, we're going to pick up different steel in Evansville, Wisconsin. So we're going to unload at Brainerd tomorrow afternoon. They'll, they'll, they'll load in Kenora first in the morning. Wait, let's start right from the beginning. We're going to drop this load off that I have now at our yard near Winnipeg, Manitoba, tonight. Take our equipment off. We're going to go to Kenora, sleep there, load there first thing in the morning, get down to Brainerd, Minnesota, unload in the afternoon, clean up all my equipment again, then go down to Evansville, Wisconsin. Picking up a load of steel there, bringing that back home. That's the plan. down a belt size. Close these windows, it's cold out there. So yeah, uh, like I was saying yesterday, I've lost six pounds in the last week doing my uh, fasting schedule where I pretty much, I, I eat for eight hours of the day and then I don't eat for 16 hours and then I eat for eight hours, don't eat for 16. Pretty much from the, the whenever I eat supper, I don't eat for another 16 hours. So either I skip supper and stop eating or eat a late early supper or I skip breakfast or eat a late breakfast. Uh, it's been working. It's been a new app that I've been using. I mean, I'm not trying to do an ad for it or anything, but it's called Fast Easy. It's been working. Lost a belt size. Nothing else has worked for me so far. So that makes me happy. Ah, oh, yes. I love driving a W900, but there is no room in a W900. You can't have both. You can't have a spacious cabin and a sweet looking truck. You know, I guess some people would disagree with me. I like the T680s. I'm a Kenworth guy straight through and through. I think I'd only ever drive or buy Kenworth. So if I wanted to buy a big condo unit, I'd buy a Kenworth T680. My father-in-law drives one. He drives a white one. You've seen it. He runs here for us as well. Those are nice trucks. That's a condo on wheels. I couldn't get a hold of anybody at work. Maybe they're on break or something. So I sent an email that goes to everybody then on the deck division. I'd like to know, am I clear for the border? Nobody has sent me anything. I can't, I can't cross until they send me confirmation. That's our rules. That's to make sure that we don't show up unannounced. 
Because if you show up to the border and the border is not expecting you yet and your clearance isn't done yet, you get a fine. And if I do that, that fine goes to me, not to them. My responsibility to make sure I'm clear first. So I have to make sure I get that confirmation before I get to the border or I get fined. I think it's like $2,000 or something. I might be wrong on that, but I want to I want to say it's $2,000, but it's a lot of money anyways. The border doesn't mess around. They're still working on these pumps. They've only got two of them open. Two out of six. It'll be nice once it's finished. All right, old blue's filled up, I'm filled up. Lights are on. Oh, I actually got a half hour out of this here. Noise. I didn't need the half hour break, but I got it anyway. I am on a patch of ice. Why can't I get moving? The tires are just spinning. There we go. Beautiful day out here. Spring is definitely in the air. It's, it's coming. I'm excited.
spring is on the way. Just a couple of weeks away. I figured you were turning. In 600 meters, go straight on. Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Okay, everybody. We've got a new trailer. Got a little bit of snow on it. We'll have to take care of that before we go. For now, we're going to roll up the landing gear. Get the tarps up here. Do the pre-trip on it. And then we'll be off and on our way. Got all my equipment off that other trailer. I was hoping to find a trailer without snow on it, but... Eh. I guess that happens, you know, it snows around here. There was no snow in Brainerd and no snow in Duluth today. We still got snow here at home. Oh, look at that, they got a big building coming up there. Cool. Good for them. Hmm. All right, so this... So the safety is valid and good. Safety is good until November 2024. It's the first thing you check. Should have done that before I even rolled up the landing gear. That'd be a waste of time if it was not safety. Oh. See, my center tarp always has three bungees on it. That's how I know it's my center one. Because they all kind of look the same when they're rolled up. And I don't use the center one nearly as often as I use these end tarps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shoot, look at that, eh? One of my springs broke off today. Just now. I could probably fix that in the shop. Well, that's okay. For now, it's whatever. Still has these two. Dude, eh? I needed to get uh, need to get new strings for this anyway. These are kind of old, as you can tell, old and rusty. <laughs> I can just bend this back. You know, I, I could bend it back now. I'm just wondering because it's uh, it's so cold, it might just snap like this did here, right? Yeah. I wonder if I can just take it off of here. I don't want this banging around against my headache rack. Oh boy. Now I'm gonna have to take my gloves off for this. Ah, it's always something, right? It's always something. Oh my, this is like, I'm gonna need tools for this. This is out of stiff. Okay. Shoot. I wonder if I could bend that around there. I'm gonna try doing that first. Like I say, like I always say, it's it's always something. Uh, at least it's not a big issue, right? Here you are. Those are not the ones I was looking for. I wonder if that'll work. Will this just break if I try to bend it? Nope. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, it's going to break off, isn't it? Put it around there like that. Oh, oh. Come on. Hook on there. What? What's going on? <laughs> it's just going to break again. I can definitely tell it's just going to break. See? Uh, man. Okay. So, yeah, this is too old. Still got those two. I'm just gonna have to replace all three of these. Go order them right away. Let's get this thing off of here, though. Might be easier from this side. I just need this piece. Come on. I could probably just break it. 
Oh, well, maybe not. Yikes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it wants to break. Ah. Harder than it looks. It's definitely harder than it looks. Come on now. Might need to grab the vice grip. Oh, can we get this off now? Come on. There you go. All right, there. That one's done. That's why we got three on there and not just one. <sighs> what would these springs be called? <sighs> I'll have to look them up on the interwebs. There's Mike, one of the Mikes. He says hello. Okay, so this is garbage. This is not garbage. to do the walk around of the trailer. Oh, I'm gonna need my gloves on for that. Why did I take those off? <laughs> there. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go finish up here, get ready to roll to the pre-trip. And I'll see you on the road on the way to Kenora. traveled 930 kilometers so that's uh, about 600 miles it's like 600 600 miles right yeah very close to it and uh, here we sit waiting to get loaded first thing in the morning I want to be in the gate early I'm gonna get up they open up at 7 a.m. I'm gonna get up at like 6 15 I'm gonna try to get in there at 6.30 so that I can wait, or at least up to the gate at 6.30. I wanna be the first or one of the first two to get loaded tomorrow. 
earlier the better because I want to get unloaded tomorrow as well in Brainerd. <sighs> That's going to be a rush. But I can do it. I've done it before many times. So we'll get unloaded and then from there we can head on down to Evansville, Wisconsin. We won't make it all the way there because it's about six hours down to Brainerd from here. It's probably about another six hours down to Evansville, Wisconsin. I've had comments before where they say, Josh, you have a lot of deadhead miles, a lot of empty miles. Yeah, uh, I'm an international driver, so I go where the money is. And the rates are good enough that it covers my empty miles. Otherwise, I wouldn't accept it. I would just say no. But I can't pick up freight in Minnesota to get me into Wisconsin. That's illegal. It's called interstating. You get big fines for that. That's an American job to do. As a Canadian driver, I bring freight from Canada into the U.S. Now, the load that I take back to Canada has to go directly back to Canada. I can't make any stops in the U.S. on that load. So the next good-paying load that's nearest to me, going back to Canada, is in Wisconsin. So I go there empty, pick up that load, and that load has to go directly to Canada. I'm just bringing it to Winnipeg, I believe. I don't even know where it's going. One sec here. Let's actually check my messages here. I'm pretty sure I'm just bringing it to the yard. It's going to Saskatoon. Oh, maybe I'll bring it to Saskatoon. Maybe I'll bring it right there. Uh, when do they want it there? Doesn't say. But they want it at 12.30 on no specified date. <laughs> so I'll be picking this up on uh, blah, 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 Thursday. Getting back home on Friday. I bet you anything they wanted on Monday, which is uh, unfortunate because we have a doctor's appointment on Monday. We have to go into the fertility clinic uh, for uh, a follow-up equipment, a uh, follow-up uh, appointment, equipment, <laughs> follow-up appointment. So uh, I'll probably be bringing this to the yard or bringing that load to the yard. We'll see. That's in the future. Uh, future, Josh. Don't worry about that. Well, very often those loads that we pick up of steel beams, they're, they're made to build steel buildings, commercial buildings. So very often those have like specific dates and it's not always like right away. Sometimes they want each load there on a specific day and it's multiple loads that build the building, right? So maybe this load needs to be there on Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know, no idea. We'll find out then. But what I do know is that I'm thankful that you're here and that you've watched right to the end. If you want to support me and my channel, the best thing you can do is hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and the most important thing is to just go down below and make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. I've heard of at least one person recently who got unsubscribed for no reason to my channel and had to resubscribe. So head on over there, down below my video, hit that subscribe button, make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to go one step further, click the join now button and you can learn about further ways where you can support the channel by becoming a member and premium members get early access to all my videos and access to members only content. It'll explain it all down below if you just click the button. Super simple. Thanks again, everybody. You keep your stick on the ice. That means pay attention, keep your head up, watch where you're going and drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow.